Welcome back to the Hot to Best Daily Pick Show for Sunday, June 26th. Back with some more MLB action for today. Got a couple of games that I want to take a look at here on today's card. And I am recording this a little bit earlier on Saturday. So we're recording before either of the picks we had for Saturday's card get going. Um, so definitely check the YouTube community tab, Twitter. Uh, Instagram stories, hottipbest.com, as always, to see the results for all of those. And the reason I'm recording a little bit earlier here on Saturday, trying to get this video out before the Saturday night live stream, we're actually going to be live streaming all of the games as well as the UFC card, got some College World Series action. So if you're watching this on Saturday before those uh, before the stream is over, check the channel. It might still be going. Come join us and take a look at that. And without further ado, let's get into Sunday's <laughs> take a look at on Sunday is the Astros taking on the Yankees Jose or Quiddy on the mound for the Astros here in this one Nestor Cortez gets the start for the Yankees the Yankees come into this one as the number one overall team in the hot tip of power ranking the Astros are the third overall team or Quiddy making his 14th start of the season for the Astros six and three on the year for him Nestor Cortez also making his 14th start and he is also six and three but when it comes to these two guys pitching I still think Nestor Cortez has the edge a 0.96 whip coming into this one 2.31 ERA or Quiddy 1.46 whip a 4.6 a ERA you know base level Cortez sure has been the better pitcher however both these guys have done a pretty good job and in, in different departments one area that Riquiti has been strong in is striking guys out a 24.0 strikeout percentage only a 4.2 walk to go along with that but Cortez has been just a little bit better than him even so a 27.0 strikeout percentage and a 5.9 walk to go along with that Cortez also does a really good job not giving up hard hits only a 35.8 hard hit percentage on the season with an 88.7 average Average X velocity or quitty on the other hand, a 45.5 hard hit percentage on the year with a 91.1 average X velocity. Or quitty's also struggled a little bit, giving up a 309 expected batting average and a 583 expected slugging, while Cortez only a 205 expected batting average and a 356 expected slugging. So um really when these two guys are on the mound, Cortez is the better pitcher still. In my opinion, when the Yankees are playing their best baseball, I mean it's hard to say they are not the best team in the league. I mean putting up 5.08 runs per game this Yankees team is compared to the Astros who are only scoring 4.33 and defensively the Yankees have also been rock solid holding their opponents to 3.06 runs per game Astros giving up 3.44 a plus 144 run differential in the season for the Yankees absolutely insane only you know <laughs> at the end of June um, and they're already that high uh, for the Astros a plus 62 run differential on the year the Yankees also do a really really good job getting on base a 326 on base percentage compared to the Astros who only have a 317 the Astros are 14th in the league in that category while the Yankees are the third overall team defensively they've both been fairly strong Yankees are actually the number one team in opponent on base percentage at 275 um, while the Astros giving up a 289 opponent on base percentage fourth in the league in that category and really for this Astros team with her quitting on the mound they're not a bad team but um, certainly not the guy I want going up against Cortez I think he's going to struggle a little bit in this matchup I think the Yankees are going to be able to get some hits be able to get on base and ultimately be able to score some runs and the Yankees team that's been very very strong they have great great pitching especially with Nestor Cortez on the mound here in this one even with some struggles early in the series against this Astros team, I think they finished strong here on Sunday in this game and win it pretty big. So I'm taking the Yankees run line minus one and a half here at plus 135. Now, the next game I'm taking a look at on Sunday's card is the Nationals taking on the Rangers. Jackson Trito gets the start for the Nationals here in this one. Glenn Otto on the mound for the Rangers. The Nationals are the 28th overall team in the hot Tibet rankings. The Rangers, the 25th overall team. So a little bit of a different story as far as these teams go compared to our first matchup of the day. Um, Jackson Tatro making his third start of the season for the Nationals, 1-1 one one on the year. So like always with pitchers who haven't pitched that much, um, you got to take some of his stats with a grain of salt, but we'll get into that here in a second. Glenn Otto, ninth start of the season for the Rangers, four and two on the year for him. For Otto, a 1.36 whip with a 4.24 ERA, not the greatest in the
in the world. Tatro, a 1.64 whip, a 5.73 ERA, has struggled. Again, only 11 inning pitched, but he hasn't looked the best. He's really struggled to strike guys out this year. Only a 7.7 strikeout percentage, a 5.8 walk. Again, stats that are undoubtedly going to improve um, as this thing goes on. But um, at the moment, he's had some struggles in that category. Otto has been fairly strong striking guys out at 25.2%, also a 7.2 walk to go along with that. But both these guys give up some hard hits. Otto, a 40.4 hard hit percentage of the season with an 89.6 average exit velocity. Tedro, a 55.6 hard hit percentage of the season with a 92.6 average exit velocity. He's also rocking a 311 expected batting average with a 611 expected slugging. Otto, a 273 expected batting average with a 528 expected slugging. So, you know, like I said, and I've said a couple times here, you got to take some of that with a grain of salt. Um, you know, he has only pitched in two games. But with that said, he has not looked great in his first two starts of the season. Both these guys have certainly had some struggles. And as a whole, they're two teams that defensively and pitching just have not stacked up. Um, offensively, they've had their struggles as well. I mean, the Nationals only put up 4.03 runs per game. The Rangers put up 4.33. Uh, but defensively, they both allow quite a few runs. The Nationals giving up 5.56 runs per game. Rangers giving up 4.28. A plus four run differential on the year for the Rangers. The Nationals have really, really struggled with a minus 111 uh, run differential on the year. With that said, a little bit surprising when you look at that run differential, the Nationals are actually, you know, top half of the league in getting on base, a 318 on base percentage, 13th in the league in that category, um, which actually outranks the, the Rangers who score more runs, but only have a 295 on base percentage, 25th in the league. Um, but whenever I'm betting overs, it's more looking at the defense and pitching and both these teams defensively let guys get on base. The Nationals are the worst team in the league at this, 30th in opponent on base percentage at 348. The Rangers also giving up a 315 on base percentage to their opponents 19th in the league in that category so defensively these teams just aren't great really this game i think comes down to a couple of things and it's bad pitching matched up with poor defense really just leads to a lot of guys getting on base a lot of hits coming in um, and just a lot of runs being scored haven't been super impressed with either one of these teams with either one of these pitchers all season I think we see a pretty high scoring one here in this game. I'm taking the over nine and a half runs here plus 100. And that wraps it up for Sunday's MLB show. Now, like I said at the top of the show, if you are watching this on Saturday evening, Saturday afternoon, um, depending when this gets out, go take a look at the YouTube channel. I may be live streaming still, um, sweating out all my bets from Saturday, maybe making some potential live bets. So go jump in the stream. I'd love to see you guys all there. And if you want to see more sports betting action for everything going on this upcoming week, head over to hottipbets.com. Take a look at the computer model picks up on the website. Got MLB, NHL, for the Stanley Cup Finals as well as UFC picks being posted every day. I know it's a little bit downtime in the sports calendar, but still got plenty of stuff to bet on as we get into July here. Also, follow the Hot Tip Bets main account at Hot Tip Bets on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok to stay up to date with everything going on over there. Also, follow my personal account at Hot Tip Bets Chris on Twitter and Instagram so you don't miss out on any of the stuff that I am putting out. And if you are watching here on YouTube, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content. And most importantly, drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys are betting on for today's card. And thanks for watching today's show. I will see you guys tomorrow.